Brittany Fish is recovering here at University Hospital in stable condition, found alive late Sunday afternoon. Bill Walters is the stranger who miraculously found Brittany at the abandoned warehouse in DeWitt. It was pure luck. He heard her noises that led him to Brittany. She was bound under a tarp. It was a condition that, um, that no person should have to go through and it was something I'll never forget. Detectives say they feel the case is solvable. The man who found Brittany would also like to see the case solved, although he takes no credit for his role. I don't think I'm a hero. I don't feel that way. Um, there was a reason they, I found her, and I'm thankful for that. When he pushed you out of the car and left you, what did he do to you when he put you out of the car? He started wrapping my whole entire head in duct tape, and then he had me stand up and put my arms behind my back, tied them with barbed wire along with my ankles. The man that found you, um, this gentleman that we just heard from, said he's not a hero. When he came and lifted that tarp, did you think it was the man or did you think it was someone to save you? I was scared that it could have been the man, um, but then I heard his voice. The voice was completely different. And what did he say to you? He said, honey, stop crying. You're safe now. I'm calling 911 immediately. And it was at that moment, I knew it wasn't the man that had taken me. I knew I was, I knew I was rescued. How do you feel about him? I, I love him more than I could ever imagine. Um, he's got a very special spot in my heart. I'm getting married in May, and I asked for him to walk me down the aisle. Well, that will be a very special time, right? I guess. Yeah. He said he'd be honored, so. Yeah. Well, Brittany's abduction uh, was <laughs> featured twice on America's Most Wanted. Yet there were still no clues or suspects until her predator struck again. Take a look. Police continue to stand guard over Brittany's house, not only because they feel she needs privacy, but also to protect her. Kevin Schaus was on the run for an entire year, and I was terrified. Police are combing the county, chasing down hundreds of leads in their search for a child molester. I couldn't leave my house. I couldn't go to school for a few months. I, I was terrified knowing that he was out there still. I was scared every day that he could attack me again. I was constantly haunted by what had happened to me. I had reoccurring nightmares every night for about two years. He was chasing me up and down stairs with a gun loaded, and I would wake up every night when he pulled the trigger and shot me. March 2005, officers arrested Kevin Schaus for abusing a young girl in a separate case. When I heard the news that Kevin Schaus was finally found and thrown in jail, I finally felt safe again. I could leave my house without being fearful that he was there potentially watching me. For whatever reason, Schaus just gave up the case that he was under arrest for, gave up uh, Brittany's case, and gave up uh, two other very serious sexual assaults. Four in total. We didn't have the DNA, we didn't have that thing. We had his confession. Schaus took a universal guilty plea and was sentenced 20 years to life. Kevin Schaus will reoffend while he has breath in his lungs. He should never get out, and that's, we pray to God that he never will get out. 